Hello and welcome back. This is the sequel video to the data types video and uh, uh, we, today we're going to talk about classes and objects initially and some of the interesting stuff. Um, so let's just get started. Um, what are classes? Classes are very similar to data types to a data type a class is just another data type java provides some data types that are built in like the primitives we looked at earlier and classes are just a new form of data type that the programmer can define the behavior and what this data type allows the user to do. Programmer defines this. And let's see what, what is an object. Ob since class is very sim uh, similar to data type, an object is very similar to a variable. For primitive types like int, we have a variable called 10. Termination of the statement, semicolon. So for, a, so for a, if you create a class called say rec rectangle, then you'd have rectangle A equal new rectangle. So A over here is an object of the type class, the class type rectangle. An object is also known as an instance of a class. Sim similar because we can have an another uh, statement where we say rectangle B equals new rectangle. So the, in that case, B would become another instance of the class rectangle. A is an instance of the class rectangle. So objects are also known as instances and they are very similar to variables as far as uh, the way variables are to primitive data types like integers, doubles, floats and s such and such. So what do classes contain, like what is inside a class? Um, see, a class has the following features. It contains the implementation, and the implementation details. So you, you as a programmer created a, uh, defined a new data type called class rectangle. You have, to, you have to say what does rectangle mean and you know what are the characteristics of rectangle. Like characteristics of int is it can contain a value from negative uh, you know 65 uh, negative uh, 2,147,000 Two billion one forty seven thousand four eighty three million six forty eight to positive two million one forty seven thousand two billion one forty seven million four eighty three thousand six forty seven. Similarly, that's what Java system defined this characteristics for int. But for a user defined class type uh, or data type called class, we have to say what the characteristics are. It also contains the interface or the way any other programmer can access the, f the functionality can access the fun functionality provided by this class Similarly, a, a class can have multiple methods. You can have rectangle 
so we have this class called rectangle it can have a method called draw and what does draw do you as a programmer are going to define inside this class maybe you create a new instance of rectangle called a and if it has a method called draw the programmer can call a dot draw and if you have inside this draw method if you as as the definer of this class have written the a mechanism to draw something or draw a rectangle on the screen then when when the another programmer calls a dot draw the class will go ahead and draw itself that's an example of uh, the method within a class so So let's go through some examples. Uh, we talked about examples of how to create a class, how to define, um, how to call methods on it. The way you usually do it is a dot operator, like you saw over here. A the object dot uh, method, and uh, for more additional um, documentation of behaviors of these methods, uh, should check out the Java documentation, Java API. There are a lot of classes which are which is which are defined by the Java system, uh, and uh, they will be available at the on the Java documentation place of uh, uh, a uh, page. And some of them are some of those provided class package names are called system, arrays, scanner, file object so basically they'll Java ha, uh, uh, has created uh, these packages to uh, modify files modify create random numbers do basic input output and you know you should become familiar with the Java API just do a Google search for Java API and it will go through these classes defined by Java and they are very helpful and will make your life as a programmer a lot easier so next, we're going to talk about strings. Actually, before we talk about strings, let's talk about something called imports. Import is a mechanism of referencing another class in one class. Because as you can realize, when you have when you have something really complex you will end up with multiple classes. So you will have to use the import. Just give me a second. Let me clean this. So, talking about imports, it's a mechanism to uh, use a class inside another class. It is not unlike this. It's a reserved keyword. You can you, you can't use it anywhere else as a variable name or a class name. Um, it's the keyword is actually import, and. Uh, it is it is not like C++ where include preprocessor command where it actually takes the code and puts it into this another class file. It's just a reference. You know, you'll quickly realize Java works uses the references a lot. You know, which is kind of like pointers but not unsafe as pointers. But you know, it's managed in a safe way. So, so if you're creating, say, I'm creating class rectangle, so you might have want to uh, import Java dot util dot array list public class rectangle the reason is that maybe I have a rectangle 
to draw a rectangle we I might have a lot of points on the screen and I might have to I w might want to store all these points in an array and instead of building my own mechanism to you know more own array and creating this to store these points I might use a Java sp uh, supplied or built-in um, data structure called array list and the way I would use that is first I would want to have to import it before I define the class before I do anything else and then I'll be able to use all the methods supplied within the array list create a instance of this array list and such and such and um, few other things on the import is that uh, import can you can imp imp uh, import a whole package by instead of saying java dot uh, util dot array list you can say java dot util dot star so if i had if i had said put this statement over over here then it instead of importing just the array list class it would have imported everything every uh, class type that is defined in this java dot util package it basic import in a way essentially instructs the compiler to look in the package to find these types of classes which it can't find locally within this particular file so you can organize your code you can have multiple files with different classes and you know you can use them in a bigger program so that's it for classes and imports